Um, when you get into each Hawks lesson, um, this is the, the main screen that's going to come up when you open it. And I just wanted to show you um, the ones that have the little blue dots over here. There should be one next to I've already done lesson one, so it doesn't show the blue dot anymore. But the lessons that have the little blue dots are the ones that are assigned, okay? So um, if you look, we're not going to do chapter nine, so it doesn't have a little dot next to it, okay? Um, but that shows you each of the lessons, okay? So this is kind of like your table of contents in your book, right? Then you click on the lesson you want to work on, okay? And it'll bring up a screen that shows the lessons for that one. So lesson one only has one lesson, right? Lesson two has three. Some of the other lessons have six, okay? But this shows you the lessons for that one, for that one. And you start at the top and work your way down. Um, when you get one finished, it'll put a little green check mark next to it. And that tells you that you've already done that lesson and it's been turned into the instructor. Okay? And it'll update that pretty frequently. If it doesn't automatically do it, you can hit refresh and it'll refresh that screen for you. And it'll tell you what's been recorded on the Hawks website. Okay? Then once you click on the lesson, it'll take you into the screen like this that shows the lesson and the title. And on the left, it has three boxes for you. Okay? The first box is instruct. Okay? And what that means is if you click that button, it's going to walk you through the instruction part for that lesson. Okay? And some of them follow the book really close, and some of them don't follow the book very well. But um, you, it, this just kind of goes along. It tells you what you need to know to do the work for that lesson. Okay? And I mean, it, some of them have little videos. Some of them have things for you to do. Some of them you have to actually solve a problem as you're working through the instructions. Um, but it always tells you, you know, if you got it wrong or right and stuff like that. Once you get through the instruction part, then you go down and you click on the practice. And the practice walks you through the same exact kind of problems that you're going to have for a grade. Okay, so if there's 10 problems, you'll have 10 practice problems. And as you work through the practice, it tells you if you got it right or wrong. If you get it wrong, um, it will give you a little button. Sometimes it has step-by-step -step instructions. And you can click on that, and it'll have step one, step two, step three, and it works you through that problem. Sometimes it just has a hint that will tell you where it thinks you went wrong, and you can fix it. Um, if you go up to the top under um, either file or options, um, you can actually print out every screen. So like if there's a problem that you really have trouble with, the steps, you can go in there and print each page with the steps on it so that you could put that together and then when you get down to the certify where you have to get them right, you'll have the step-by-step -step instructions there for you to look at. Okay? That's not cheating. I don't care if you do that. I have some students who think they have to memorize everything. I don't expect you to do that. I want you to know how to do the problems, but if there's one problem that you cannot get, if you go through that step by step, I'd rather you do it that way and get it right once or twice because then you'll remember how to do it, okay? So, but the practice will always let you go and look and see it, you know, what the answer should be and how they got the answer or it'll give you a hint on how to get to it, okay? Once you get through the practice, then you have to go down and click on certify. And the certify, it has the same kind of problems, but it doesn't tell you what the answers are if you get them wrong, okay? And it doesn't give you second chances. Um, if, if you work that problem and you get it correct, you go to the next problem. Um, when you get 80% correct, it turns off and says you have been certified on this lesson, okay? So if there's 10 questions and you get eight of them correct, you don't have to answer the other two. 
it comes up and says you're done, okay? If there's 10 questions and you miss one, you have to do nine questions, right? Um, it'll also tell you how many strikes you get, which means how many you can miss, right? Um, sometimes it'll be one strike. Sometimes it'll be two strikes, three strikes. I've seen them have four strikes if they have a lot of parts. Um, so it'll tell you how many chances you get to get that correct, okay? Um, if you working on the certify and you miss all that you can miss, you have to start over on that lesson on the certify again. It doesn't take you back to the ones that, and it gives you different problems the second time, okay? <laughs> so um, what, what can really get you hung up is if you're doing that and you keep getting the same problem wrong every time and it kicks you out, what I would do then is go back to the practice and work to that problem and then make sure you go through the step-by-steps and learn how to do that one problem. That's what it's trying to get you to do, right? To go back and learn how to work through that one problem, and then you can go back and do the certify again, and it'll let you do that as many times as you need to, but honestly, who has time to do it more than once or twice, right? Okay? So if you work through it and there's a problem that you miss every time, Go back to the practice and, and figure out how to solve that problem, right? And then you can go do the certify and you don't have to keep wasting a bunch of time. Um, the biggest time waste I've had, I've taught this three semesters before this, is the students who skip all of this and go straight to certify. They spend four hours trying to get through the certify when if they'd worked through the practice once, they'd have got that right the first time. None of that is time. Um, no, it's not time. And once you're in there, you have as much time as right. you Right. And on the certify, you can even pause it. So, like, if you need to get out and go do something, um, you can exit. And it'll ask, do you want to pause this? You hit yes. And the next time you go in, it'll take you back to where you were on the certify. So, it's really, um, it's trying to be as convenient as it can for your time. Because, um, and like I said, you don't have to do each one. In, I mean, you can do the instruct this morning. Go back and do the practice tonight, and then say, hey, I'm going to do the practice again in the morning, and then do the certify, right? I mean, it's very um, convenient for you. It lets you do it at your own pace, okay? But uh, I'm just warning you, I've had two or three or four students that wasted half their time. They would just skip everything and try to do the certify, and by the time they did it five times and figured out how to answer the problems, they could have done the practice once and saved themselves three hours. Okay? So, I mean, this, this is a good system. It works. It lets you see what you're doing, practice on it, and it'll tell you what you're doing wrong, and then you go in and you do the certifications. Okay? So, um, it, it's, a, it's a good system that will let you work through there and figure out how to do the problems. Um, like I said, it will give you step by step. Um, sometimes it gives you hints, and you know, because they want you to be able to solve the problems. Let me turn that off so it's not shining in my face. <laughs>